Hi guys! Back in my little studio today to do another video. Uh, last week was way too cold. I couldn't even be out here, so I've been going through withdrawals. Um, today, I'm going to do a puddle pour, and then I'm going to try and do like a lease... A lease... I don't know her name. Elise Forner, where she does the feathering with the white underneath the colors. I'm going to try that today, and we'll see how that works out. Um, I haven't tried it before since I haven't been in the sh in my garage for over a week, so I hope it turns out okay. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to Kim McDonald of Kim McDonald Studios. She did an artist showcase on me um, about a week ago. Um, I would really like it if you guys would pop over and check out some of her work. She does fabulous work, B beautiful work. So I will put that in my links so you guys can check her out as well. I'm going to shut the camera off for a minute and then I will get my canvas and everything prepped. Um, the colors that I'm going to use today, um, this is Folk Art Berry, Berry Wine. It's a really pretty color. And then I have um, Deco Americana um, Payne's Gray. And then I have Liquitex um, Light Portrait Pink. I was going to put silver in it, but I don't think I want to put the silver in it. I think I'm just going to go with those three colors and then the white to try and feather it and see how it goes. So I will be back in a minute. All right, guys. I'm back in the studio, and we're going to get this going. Um, one other thing I didn't say <clears throat> is I've been using this silicone it's the first time i've tried it well i've tried it once so this is my second time and it's okay i like it i think i want to try and find the treadmill oil first or next time so anyway i won't probably won't talk much after i get going so here we go I need to use a little bit less white <clears throat> in the middle of these, or otherwise I'm going to have more white than anything. And with the feathering, I think I want a little bit less white. Maybe if I put a little bit of black. Shall see, like I said, this is an experiment. I haven't done this yet, so I just don't want a whole bunch of white because I want to be able to do the feathering. Sorry if I've got the sniffles. I've been fighting a cold, but you know how that goes. My arm isn't right in the middle of you guys. I didn't even think about that. I'll move.
I'm doing this video by myself. My son's not helping me this time, and I have to say, it's a little bit different being trying to set everything up by myself. <clears throat> but I'll get the hang of it. I'm so excited to make this. I didn't even put gloves on. I know this table's level, but something isn't right. Just put my gloves on here really fast. I'm going to add right here.
Okay, that was less the red. I think I'm going to end with that red. <clears throat> so I'm going to try and take my finger through it and then see what happens. See if I want to add the lacing. Maybe I won't want to add the lacing. Well, that's making a mess. Sorry, right? I'll turn it this way so you guys can see what I'm doing. I kind of like that, what it's doing right there. That's kind of cool.
think that's kind of cool looking. I don't really like that. I do like this. Interesting. I mean, for my first try, I yeah, you know. Starting to see cells pop up. Torching it, torching it does anything. I should have had some cabbies ready to dip so that I could use up this extra paint, which I can still do here in a minute. Let's give it a little torch and see what we got. little cells. I've noticed with this th silicone though it does take a little bit for it to kick in the cells but I really don't want all these little ones. I think I'm gonna I think I'm going to send it that way a little bit and see if I can stretch these out a little bit. What's wrong with my canvases? I'm stuck. Let's see if I can move this down. I really like this section right here. I think it looks really cool. And I don't like that. That's just. I am starting to get some cells through here that are looking pretty darn cool. I think I'll leave it. Think to think. air bubbles and you can see them popping as I go through. It's going to give me all those little cells but I don't know what else I can do about that. <coughs> I like how these are turning up. I think what I'll do is I'm going to shut the camera off and let this sit for a minute and then see what happens and I'll bring come back to you. Okay, so we have, I've been gone for about 30 minutes, and as promised, I said I'd come back and show you what this looked like with the cells. Um, there are some cells, but there's not a bunch of them, and that kind of bums me out, but that's okay. I, I really like puddle pours. I think they turn out really, really fantastic. So I'm going to get down closer and kind of show you some of the details in it. 
like right through this section, sorry, my cord got stuck, right through this section, I love all of those cells. But it doesn't have a whole lot. This is the section that I did the feathering, and I like that, but I should have done more. And I've got a glare, I apologize for that. Let me see if I can walk around to the other side so that we don't have a glare. Okay, let's go back in. I suck at this, you guys. I'm sorry. My son should be here doing this for me, but he had to work, so what you gonna do? It does have some pretty cool looking stuff in it though, I think, but I like these kinds of pores a lot. Well, that is it for today. I think um, I will try and do another video here shortly, and I think I'm going to do a dirty pour with and try and do the feathering. So I will post a picture when it's dry. So there's that. And then if you look over here, so I moved my canvas off of my paint pan. I got a whole bunch of paint that I'm going to start dipping some cabbies in to make some really awesome looking jewelry. Some really pretty pieces. If I could get the glare to go away. Anyway guys, have a great night and I'll see you soon.